What's up everybody, welcome to a new video. A bit ago, I managed to participate in one of the biggest content creator tournaments on the Hive, hosted by Danny is the Bomb. The tournament was Treasure Wars Trios, composed of 8 content creator teams. So me and 2 other YouTubers went up against 21 other YouTubers for the cash prize of $300. The teams were picked by Danny, based on skill to balance it out. I was placed on a team with none other than Seaman Wizard, an incredible PvPer and editor with over 20,000 subscribers, and Danda Plays, a comedic clips uploader and streamer with 9,000 subscribers. Together, we went up against YouTubers such as Evident, Cranex, and Zoop for the prize of $300. This video, I will be showing mostly my point of view, how we won the games, and our incredible journey. Ready? Let the games begin. Our first matchup was against Insane Orbits, Jakester, and Crafted Many. Here's how it went. We start off by using a scrim-like strat to get the fastest start possible. Our goal was to upgrade our generators completely. I won't be showing the exact strategy we used in case we want to use it in future competitions. Dando went to mid first and managed to collect the two emeralds we needed. Wizard went sideways to get the two diamonds we needed, and within the first minute of the game, we had max generators. Now Dando switches off with me and Wizard to put pressure at middle and collects more resources. We win our first fight and now control middle. I got, I got them both, I got them both. I decided to put pressure on the opposite team by blocking them from getting to middle. Insane Orbis decides to challenge me and wins the fight with one extra hit. GG's to him. This works out fine though. Wizard and Danda both rotate with me and start holding middle again while I collect diamonds. Now we have an armor upper hand too. I buy iron armor and split with wizard. Now we must reclaim middle again, so me and wizard go and scare them away. As I put our emeralds in the chest, I notice Insane Orbits challenging us from the right island. Wizard takes care of orbits, and I put decide to push the base. I end up getting some crazy clutches, but... Oh, okay, Jake, Jakester has a bow. He just bow spam me to death. Good, all, all three of us are... Oh, incoming to the side! Incoming to the side! We got a bit of a scare after it, orbits challenges us from the side again. After taking control in middle, Manny and orbits decide to try and bypass. Once I receive a few hits, I rotate back again with Danda. We place our final layer of treasure defense and Wizard buys the first set of diamond armor, giving us a massive upper hand. He splits it with Danda and I get the rest of my iron armor. Insane Orbits challenges us from the side again, but this time he had another plan up his sleeve. Boombox, boombox! He got very close to completing a block in on our treasure, but Wizard managed to shoo him off. I go to reclaim middle and end up having to fight Jakester. Between his incredible PvP skill and ping, I get comboed. Thankfully though, Wizard was there to help me out. After being low from the Jakester fight, I lose a trade with Insane Orbits. Jakester starts a really weird high rush, but Wizard is one step ahead and bows him off. This leaves us with an opening to their base, and Danda gets a perfect block in and treasure break. Yes! Let's go! Crafted Manny was the first to be eliminated by Wizard. Soon after, Danda gets an incredible combo on Insane Orbits, eliminating him. After a long standoff, Jakester was finally eliminated, winning us game number one. Let's go! Woo! Let's go! The first game went really well for us. We managed to control middle most of the game, thus giving us the upper hand. Next on our list was Zoop, Taria, and White PvPs. Welcome to the semi-finals. Let the games begin. We successfully finished our starting plan. Danda goes to middle, Wizard goes to diamonds, and I buy a sword for Danda, who in returns gives me the emeralds. Danda lost mid control, so I went back to gain it again. After winning a 300 ping fight against Taria, I was cleaned by white PvPs. This is not good. Not having middle control this early can be really damaging. Now me and Wizard go back to middle with chainmail armor and scare them off. We decide to put more pressure and begin stalling them. Wizard goes for a block and attempt, but it doesn't quite work out. I split iron armor with Wizard, then begin working on a defense for a bit. Taria then challenges us at middle, but Wizard bows them off. Zook then challenges us from the side and becomes a true panda, attacking from the trees. I manage to build up and clear the threat. After two unsuccessful pressure attempts from the opposing team, Wizard and Danda go for the rush, knowing the others are low. This leads to Danda getting yet another block in and treasure break. Let's go! Good stuff, good stuff. Taria was the first to be eliminated, with white PvP following soon after. Zoop then decides to push for one last time. With some terrible bow accuracy, I keep him away. 
Then finally, on the other hand, with two good bow shots, I was able to eliminate Zoop, moving us to the finals. Let's go! Woo! Ha! <laughs> GG's! This is unbelievable. We are going to the finals. <laughs> to be quite honest, none of us had the expectation of even making it past the first round. Yet, here we are. This is going to be our hardest fight yet. And we weren't wrong. In the finals, we faced none other than Super Gamer, Evident, and the one and only Cranex. Our, cha our chances were slim, but we've made it this far. To make matters worse, the opposing team was nicked. We're not sure if this was allowed, but now we don't know which fights to pick. Either way, welcome to the finals. Now came our hardest challenge yet. We do the same strat and begin the game. I give Danda his sword and bring the emeralds back to base, once again getting max gens in under one minute. I come back to mid and help Danda, avenging him from the opposing team. I then collect diamonds and buy iron armor. We manage to control mid for a while and I finally come back with the hefty 15 emeralds. Five minutes into the game, one of the opposing team members decided to pressure us. This led to a disaster. Shoot. This is not good. He got it. He got it. He got it. Shoot. Yeah, he got it. This is a massive loss. Losing our treasure this early in the game is not good at all. Though at a massive disadvantage, we still did not lose all hope. Wizard gets full diamond, since we have been thankfully controlling mid most of this game. All three of us are at middle, attempting to control it. After a very close fight, I almost die and I'm now in a very bad position. Two minutes later, we are still controlling middle, winning a series of very sweaty fights. I decide to bring the emeralds back to base, not realizing though that one of the opposing team members were directly behind me. Then this happens. I got focused. At this point, I pretty much began thinking this was the end. There's no way our team can hold middle with two people, much less break a treasure. At this point, all hope seems lost. But I forgot something. Danda plays and wizard are not your average players. You see, we coordinated everything before we played our first match. The night before, I stayed up till midnight watching and analyzing hive scrims. We also spent one hour before the tournament preparing, getting strategies down for every map and scenario imaginable. We may not have been the most talented PvPers in this tournament, but we were definitely the most coordinated. After Wizard and Danda stacked and won battles for five minutes, deathmatch officially began and the treasures were broken, giving the opposing team only a slight upper hand. A massive bridge fight broke out between the two teams. One player was knocked off the bridge, but the other two were immediately obliterated by Danda and Wizard. And just like that, it's now a 2v1 for the win. The last player being the one and only Cranex. After some running around, Danda gets put in a really bad situation, but manages to make an incredible pearl clutch. Nice! Good clutch, good clutch! Cranex was finally cornered. Wizard receives a weird hit, but also manages to make an incredible pearl clutch. I clutched. We're fine. Oh, good job. This leads to Danda getting some back hits on Crane. One extra hit, it was enough to throw Crane off the bridge. Crane was dead, and we just clutched $300. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! The clutch! What a game! Oh my gosh! <laughs> what? After some incredible celebration, we said GG's to the opposing team. Danny himself even said, to be quite honest, nobody thought you would win this tournament. So, what happened? How did we win the tournament? Our team was by no means the most PvP heavy, but through teamwork and planning, we did it. Before the video ends, I want to give a quick shout out to my incredible teammates, Seaman Wizard and Danda Plays. Please go show them some support. As well as Danny is the bomb for hosting this tournament and arranging this entire thing. Finally, I want to thank Lights Chips and That One Turtle 2 for helping me get some scrim tips and suggestions to help me prepare for the tournament. All of them will be linked below. Oh, and one last thing. We win the-